museum log week three. I'm going virtual. Tried out this video system over the weekend and um, realized afterwards that I'd forgotten to put the mic in. So I'm really hoping this one works out and you can hear me okay. I'm very fortunate during this period of social distancing and self-isolation that I'm actually out in the country uh, and able to get out and walk around with uh, definitely appreciating social distancing because I can't see a, a person from, well, a long ways away, no one around. And uh, so as I was out walking around, it dawned on me that I was quite fortunate in that I had the perfect analogy of the Great Lakes water system right in my backyard. And that is what I wish to share with you today. As we know, the Great Lakes are a very complex system. It's made up of a series of lakes, rivers, streams that all contribute to a big network of system that flows water from central Canada outwards to the Atlantic Ocean. Each lake system has its own catchment area, but if we just reduce it down to just one example, I'll give you the example of Lake Ontario. Now, I'd like to, for you to, picture, to go with me and uh, to picture Lake Ontario as a giant beaver pond and the giant beaver pond that I'm standing at right now. Far behind me is where Lake, Erie, Lake Erie's waters would flow into the, the beaver pond and where it would catch and settle. And then around me in the fields and in the um, extent of forest, the hill behind me where you can see the forest just above the shrubbery here, is more of the Great uh, Lake Ontario's catchment area. All the water flows from the field, from down from the hill, into this beaver pond. And, and uh, it's basically just gathered here. As we know in the Great Lakes, the water then flows out through the St. Lawrence. And much like in the Great Lakes, the beaver pond flows outwards through a tiny little stream that heads eastward. Now, as you can well imagine, a beaver pond is very uh, is largely dependent on that water staying in one place. And so our... Uh, industrious friends, the beavers, have very gratefully um, constructed a beaver pond, a beaver dam, several of which actually, they have a, a first big horseshoe here and several smaller ones as long, along the, uh, the stream or what would, it be, what would be the St. Lawrence River. Much like we have the St. Lawrence Seaway, they've constructed their own uh, set of dams. So of course, as we experience in the Great Lakes system, the beaver pond gets very high water levels in the spring and what you can kind of see around me. This is great Lake Ontario or the Beaver Ponds catchment area is slowly flooded out across the field. This is great for the beavers. They need the habitat for protection, for food. Um, and from that high water level, they're also creating an ecosystem for other plants and, and, and wildlife like frogs, snakes, birds, fish, that all then use these protected waters and higher water levels to nest and breeding, um, for food. Now when the water level lowers it means that the beaver is much less uh, much more threatened by predators because it has less access to water and so when it gets tries to get out to get food the coyotes come around and uh, is a lot more at, at risk. Now of course in, in, in real life the other problem is, is that uh, the farmers are affected by the higher water levels. The catchment area is slowly flooded which means that the farmer can't farm the land. And much like us, um, it affects our waterfront. But it's a very tricky balance because as soon as we want to lower that water level and uh, poke holes in the dam, as you can kind of see here, and you can hear the water running, it means that uh, if we do it too quickly, the water rushes out through the first dam, through the second dam, the third and the fourth, and how many others that Beaver has slowly constructed, and creates a torrential uh, flood basically on the lower end of the uh, stream, which is the St. Lawrence River, and uh, and gradually affects everyone else down the St. Lawrence River. So as you can see, we and as we well know, it's a very delicate system, but uh, it is one that I've come to know uh, intimately just living in around Beaver Pond. And uh, that is my take on uh, Great Lakes water levels, and uh, that's that. Take care and stay well.